Guys, I'm live. I did it. Oh, I gotta disable the channel point from yesterday. Mail every day. Face cam on in one minute? No joke. Sorry, I just looked at myself in my viewfinder. Today's stream is so silly. <laughs> also, like, I was prepping stuff for the date tomorrow for Valentine's. Dude, I cannot tell you how good the bit is going to be. It's going to be crazy. You guys are going to be like shocked Pikachu face when you see it. Imagine I could do like an IRL date. I don't I don't think I'd ever do like an IRL stream though. That's kind of scary. S No, Peligro? How do you say scary? I think it's I'm going to look it up. I think it's Peligro. Como se dice scary? Dude, if I had a Siri, that's what I'd be doing all day. Oh, peligroso is dangerous. What's scary in Spanish? I was kind of close. Scary. Aterradora. What? Or like terror? De miedo. Oh, tengo miedo is like, I am scared. Okay, I remember miedo. But I didn't remember like scary. Okay, I stalled. Three, two, one. The big reveal. Oh my god, this is insane. Guys, I'm doing a mukbang today. Actually, I gotta move my mic. You can see it a tad. Okay, it's out of frame now. Everything should be good. I couldn't get my chair any lower. So, unless I sit like this with my tummy out. Okay. Hello, good afternoon, good evening. Hope everyone is doing well today. I'm live late. It is February 13th, 3, 24 p.m. I had to go to the doctors and it took like an hour more than it should have. Because apparently nobody wants to go to the doctors on Valentine's, so everybody had their appointments moved up to today. So, but I scheduled one like two months in advance. You know, I think I should have gotten dubbed. So like, I had to wait like an extra 30 minutes just to see my doc. And then I had to wait another 30 minutes because everybody else was getting blood work. So, I spent an extra hour at the office. Doctor's office, not like a job. <laughs> and then, um, I got a bubble tea and it was really good. Because what's nice is that since I live in a larger city, there's a lot of boba tea places. Like, of course, majority are independent, so like I can't leak. But the one I went to today, holy moly delicioso it was so good i tipped him ten dollars slay okay um and then i got home and then i did meal prep because i was like you know when i stream i just want to knock out after so i cooked and you know what i'm here now slightly different camera angle today it took me a while to figure out how i wanted to frame today i kind of like how this side is uneven okay i have to like take screenshots so, I kind of like, I'll take this one, lean in, wait, I kind of like that, okay. <laughs> okay, let's get to the meat and potatoes. I think that's going to be my new intro, meat and potatoes. Also, no sub goal on screen today, it's not working. 
all of my Twitch overlays are just broken. So, does anybody want to test the TTS to see if it still works? Nah, I'm kidding. Unless? Okay. I think I'm ready now. Enough stalling. Already eight minutes in. Ew. Okay, so today the plan is simple. <laughs> Dude, I can't. I really- I'm watching so much of Ludwig, dude. Okay, so today, I'm going to be making a bouquet for your mother. Yes, your mother, we are in love. I'm your new stepmother. Hello, Peason. Nice to meet you. I had this idea randomly, and I thought it'd be really silly. So I spent a hundred dollars. No, actually, because I got like thirty dollars worth of flowers at Michael's. They were on sale. Let's go. And then I got my greens online from Amazon, I think. And though these were about, like, 20. And the packs I got of the greens had, like, 20 pieces. I have a bunch more. Because these are meant for, like, wedding decoration. So I probably spent about, like, 50 to 60 on today's stream. Hopefully this can be a write-off if I ever get a business, you know? So that is the plan for today. Now, before I get building, let's do a little bit of learning. So... If you see a little bouquet of just roses at your Safeway or Fred Meyer, get that and then another bouquet. Because it's really lame and it shows no effort if you only get a bouquet with one flower in it. So first, we're going to go over what the different types of roses mean. Because as with like a lot of things, there's symbolism behind everything. And there's symbolism and there's... <laughs> And there's symbolism behind the actual color of the roses. So the classic red rose. All the information from this section is from Billy Hiraman's website. So red. Red roses are the most traditional Valentine's Day flower, and with good reason. This color represents romance, love, beauty, and perfection. It's sometimes said that dark red roses represent humility and unconscious beauty. Orange represents life, energy, passion, and excitement. Give those roses to someone irresistible Blush. Yellow. The warmth of the yellow rose symbolizes friendship, joy, and gladness. They can also be used as a sign of remembrance or affection. White roses come with a variety of meanings, including purity, innocence, grace, and humility. They are very popular for weddings, because, you know, you smash the night up, and you lose your purity. <laughs> okay. And then finally, pink roses. They're given to express your admiration of someone's refinement, elegance, or femininity. Darker shades of pink convey a sense of appreciation. White, pale pinks are generally used to give a sense of admiration, joy, or gentleness. As you can see today, I have selected pink and very faint, almost white roses. I also have some ranunculuses, which are, yeah, these. They look like roses, but they have slightly tighter buds. So, I chose white because your mother is innocent, and I'm going to destroy her. And pink because I admire her a lot. And she is very elegant and refined because, you know, she's older. <laughs> and I also have some... So, the main flowers for my bouquet are going to be roses. I also have some ranunculuses. So, in Latin, ranunculus means little frog. Probably because they grow near bodies of water and are plentiful near streams where there are a lot of frogs. I don't... It seems silly. And then, so Ranunculus's symbol attractiveness, radiance, and charm. This is going to be... This is going to represent me in the bouquet because I am flawless and I'm a Rizlord because I'm a charmer. And then I also, for my greens, I have lavender... The ones I bought aren't too purple. I bought white ones because I think it fits a bit more. I think they add a little bit more of a frosty look. So lavender symbolizes purity, silence, devotion, and grace. Lay. And then finally, for my primary greens, I have eucalyptus, which symbolizes strength, protection, and abundance. So that's the reason why I chose all these different plants, mainly for color. Because I want the overall look to be like soft, pinks. I like how the greens I chose are kind of frosted. 
and then let's go over what actually makes a good bouquet. So this information is currently, so this information is courtesy of Sheba Magazine. So first, size. How big is your bouquet? If you just give somebody five roses, that's lame. You have to make sure it makes a statement, but it's not too overwhelming. You don't want somebody walking around with a bushel. That's like too extra, okay? Calm down. We like you, but like not that much. I'm going to put this under here, that way I'm not holding it. Do, 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 do. Okay, next. Color scheme. The color of the flowers have to actually match the event or the theme. Since it's for Valentine's, the main symbolism and theme will be the admiration of the pink roses. So... I first chose the pink roses and then I chose other flowers to correlate. I bought most of the larger flowers in person, the others online, so that way I could actually color match in person. Next theme, the overall style, do you want it to be sophisticated or whimsical? I think because I got some longer stems and they're more like obscure shapes, these, the eucalyptus is like round leaves, the lavender is straight, <laughs> which in this scenario, I'm not. It's not straight. It's not a straight bouquet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, the the flowers themselves are going to look more sophisticated, but the greens will add a more whimsical look, so I think overall it's going to be, like, a little mix between the two themes. Next, the actual type of flowers. It's very important for any bouquet that you use multiple different types of flowers. That way there's variety. You can have a really interesting composition. That's why I got smaller and then larger roses, and then I also got some Ranumphalicuses. Snuffleupagus. <laughs> and then next, the actual length of the stem. So how long the actual flower stem is. I got medium and shorter length stems because honestly, they had some long, like two foot long stems at the store for fake flowers, but they were like 10 bucks a pop, like 10 bucks, 10 bucks a single flower, and I'm not doing that, uh-uh, I don't love your mother that much, I'm sorry, because you need to have a variety of lengths, in addition to different types of flowers, you need to have them different heights, that way they're not all the same height, it would look dumb, thank you for the follow, thank you, plus one, can we get some yo's, thank you, okay, next, the actual arrangement of the flowers is important. You have to make sure cohesively, similar to like an, a painting, a cohesive composition, how all the flowers are put together in the bouquet. You have to make sure it's relatively symmet symmetrical. Like you don't want to put all your greens on one half, all your actual flower buds on the other. Make sure it's evenly matched across the whole bouquet. And finally, one of the most important parts is the actual shape of the bouquet. So if you're looking at it from the top, is it round? Is it kind of oval shaped? Yeah, so that is what makes a good bouquet. So now that we know all of the basics, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm not going to put in a vase because obviously these are fake. They're not real. And I don't like when there's like cellophane outside the bouquet. I think ribbon is cute, but I didn't buy ribbon. All I got was some flower tape. So this kit came with um, dark, light, and medium green, and then clear tape. Oh, it's so loud. I'm probably just going to use the greens, honestly. I can save this for something else. That was loud. Okay, so I didn't pre-cut any of the flowers. <laughs> And it's very important where to go. Do not use scissors when you're cutting fake flowers. Make sure you're using pliers because even though it's bounded in plastic, the interior of every stem is metal. And if you cut metal with your regular craft scissors, it's going to dull them over time. So make sure you're using a wire cutter plier. So I think first I should probably cut all my roses apart, all my florals, because they're all in like bundles like this. So I think I'll do that first. The only ones that came as single stems were the eucalyptus. 
Yeah, I'm gonna... I have so much on my desk. Okay. I'm gonna speedrun. I'm gonna speedrun. Also, the lavender and the eucalyptus, they're like dusty. <laughs> they're dusty. Hi, Go Bobo. Welcome in. Can I get some yo's? Of course I'm live. I said I was gonna go live late today. But hello. Also, I'm putting chat. Where should I put chat? I'll put you guys here. That way I can do this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try and cut as far down on these stems as I can. That could be a look. Oh! <laughs> a puff of dust poofed out. Oh my god. I'm gonna have dust all over my room now. First stem cut. Oh. Okay, this one will not stay. There we go. I don't think I need this much eucalyptus. I'm gonna put it on the side. Ah, uh, dude, there's... There's dust everywhere now. Everywhere. I'm gonna have to sweep my room again. Okay, next, the... How do you say? Ranunculuses. Snuffleupagus. I'm only gonna snip a few from every bouquet, and then I'll go back to it. Because I don't think- obviously I'm not gonna use all the flowers, because then it would be too big. And don't worry, I'm not gonna throw these away. I'm just gonna decorate my room with these. Because I'm a hoarder. I also like this bundle that I got of Renophilophaguses. <laughs> Or <laughs> whatever they're called. Because it actually has stems on it. It's not just... Or green stems. Like, this is like an upscale one. Oh, wait. Okay, some of the stems are actually attached to the larger flower stem. That is very good. Yeah, they are attached, some of them. Yeah, this one, I think, is the best bouquet I got because it does actually have some of the tape wrapped around the flower stem that's probably how they got the smaller stems attached hi game welcome in can we get some yo's hello guys if you haven't gotten your valentine a bouquet yet you're gonna learn today and no I'm not gonna ship this out Ooh, this is a really good, just plain stem. What's interesting, that, like, didn't fully sink in until recently, was my mom used to work at a flower shop. A very close family friend owns a flower shop. For the longest time, I thought I was gonna work at a flower shop. Like, I guess it's, like, in my veins. I do think it'd be very cute. It'd be, like, one of those Wattpad... Flower shop AUs, you know? <laughs> oh! oh my god, that one went flying. I got a Minecraft bouquet. That's kind of cute. But also, like, lame. I'll cut a few more of this right Renumphalocus. Oh, this one only had five flowers on it. That's not a lot. What I am learning from this particular pre-bought bouquet is that I can wrap smaller stems around the actual stem of the flower to get more volume. This looks like the plants you see in a fish tank. 
Um, Editor Brooks, put some fish on the screen. <laughs> Now for the Peace D Resistance, the roses. I think I got two of every flower type. Yeah, these are the same. These are the same. Yeah. See, if you would have bought them and just gone like this, look how asymmetrical that is. That's so bad. You have to cut them up. Also, story time. When I was buying these roses, because I think these are the ones that I bought at Michael's, I bought like majority that were on the display. So I bought, like, everything that was out on the floor. So when I go to checkout, at this point, I'm, like, already paying, right? So it was a little Zoomer at the checkout. And I was goofing and gaffing with her. And then I jokingly say, I was like, you know, I think I copped most of the roses on the floor. Like, somebody's got to restock them. I bought them all, basically. And she was like, oh, okay. And then <laughs> as I was walking out the store, I was like, why did I say copped? Because cop means stole. Why did I say I stole the roses? <laughs> so stupid. Thankfully, nobody said anything. But, oh my god, that could have been bad for me. I could have gotten cancelled. Yeah, I'm gonna cut stems. from One of every... Oh, I should take the actual tags off, huh? I get the tags on, that way I knew which flyer was which. Because it is kind of confusing. Even though I only got... I only got... Yeah, three types of flowers. I also like this specific bouquet because it has buds of different sizes already. So you can make a bouquet just from this one. And then add some just simple stems. I think today I'm going to try a few different combos. You have to be so strong to cut these. my god so how are you guys today <laughs> this is gonna be my arm day exercise I got my Valentine's gift today. Cute. What'd you get? I'm not gonna get anything. Unless. Dude, this is so hard. Why would I just do it like this? A couple of DIY projects? Oh, that's cute. That's like the best, honestly. Okay, all the pink roses are cut. <laughs> Wait, that looks so bad. Where'd you get the flowers from? I got majority of the roses from Michael's and the greens from Amazon. I think these are my favorite because it has speckles of pink in them. I'm legit. I'm getting a blister. Do I like roses? I think they're fine. I personally, my favorite flowers of all time are irises because I like the unique shape that they have. My parents have roses in their garden. They primarily have red and pink. So every year we would give roses to our teachers in school. But there would always be bugs inside the flowers because my mom never used pesticides, which is great. So there was one year where I gave the rose to my teacher. Granted, this was a teacher that I like didn't like. And there was an earwig inside of the rose and it like crawled out onto her desk. And she didn't notice. So I was just like looking at the bug being like, um, should I say something? Yeah. 
buying all these flowers made me realize like how expensive a wedding would be because if fake flowers are already so much how much would an actual real like fully floral wedding be <laughs> i never knew the name of those bugs i mean the earwig is like the slang name for it there's got to be a different name it's kind of like how I call potato bugs roly-poly olies because I watched the show and little four-year-old me was like, oh my god, it's roly-poly oly because it rolls. I don't know what those are called. And finally, I like these ones, little baby roses. I think I'll cut both of these bouquets. It feels so sad, like, cutting these. Guys, we're 30 minutes into stream, so if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? We've already gotten one follower during the stream. Can we get another? Smile. What's interesting, too, is that since the, like, the, the four or three leaf... Are plastic add-ons you can change where it is on the actual stem you don't necessarily have to tape them in place when I want a small or a big wedding I don't want any wedding weddings are too expensive if I ever got married if I ever find the one I would just get a courthouse wedding. Mainly because, like, I don't have enough friends to invite to a wedding. The only thing I would like about a wedding would be the food. <laughs> but no, I don't... I think weddings are cringe. Okay, now that I have majority of them actually cut up as individual stems, let's get to assembling. So usually... Whenever you do, like, any art project, you want to work with the bigger first. You don't necessarily have to put the bigger flowers in the center, but you kind of want to work around it. So, as we learned earlier, you have to make sure that everything is balanced in your composition. So, as I'm going to be working, I'm going to be looking at it like this, and then showing you guys the aerial view, that way you guys can actually see. So, I think... What I want to do composition wise is I want to keep the larger white or soft pink roses at a lower height than the smaller light pink. That way it's a bit varied, right? And then I'm going to try and interlace some of the Renumphalophaguses <laughs> in between. Hi, Mag. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Okay, this is going to be a lot more difficult than I thought. You know, I went in today thinking this was going to be easy, but, like, now I actually have to think. Oh, no. Maybe it's not in my jeans. Okay. Um. Because, like, this stem is really tall. Look, it's like antennas. I should probably put this on the outside, maybe. Because I don't necessarily want to put greens on, like, the center of the bouquet. 
Okay, I'm, I'm going to put those near the outer edges. Okay, this one is too tall. You can see it stands out a lot. No wonder floors charge so much. Like, geez. This is hard. Ooh, I wonder if I try to do, like, medium pinks, like an ombre look. So medium pinks towards the center, softer pinks toward the edge, and then, like, greens on the outside. That could go crazy. I think I'll work with this for now, and then maybe I'll try it on for you. Thank you, Mac. Yeah, see, right now, there's, like, too much medium pink on this half. There's not enough on this half. Okay, so, let's see. This looks like half a bouquet, right? And then you have the other half here. I should have cut the other ones off. Do I have a rubber band? I can use the scrunchie. Okay, wait. I took down my paintings today, too, because I didn't want to knock them down. Because my chair is, like, hitting the wall right now in order to get, like, this much of the table in screen. Da da Okay. I'm going to start cutting my other stems. Hey, this looks so cute. Where'd you get the flowers from? Michael's and Amazon. I got the greens from Amazon and then the actual flowers from Michael's. That way I could color match in person. Got it, finally. Where are you getting this music from? Um, exclamation point music in chat is my stream playlist. I don't know what this specific song is, though. Wait, I'm speed running? Somebody put a live split on screen. New PB. Okay, so that's majority of my longer stems cut.
These pinks look almost like too dark. Yeah, some are also too high. Hmm. I'm debating if I want just like a varied height or if I want like a cone shape. Oh, there's dust everywhere. Oh my god. Yeah, some of these stems are too tall. I think I'll go with the cone shape. I think that looks the best. Yeah, I might have to snip some of these because I don't like how these are on one stem, but they're drastically different heights. Yeah, this rosebud sticks out a lot. You also want to try and not get the same flower next to each other. Okay, that kind of evened it out a little bit. You can see, like, this this half is too tall. Oop! I broke it. <laughs> Kim said the gift I got was Ait? Uh-oh. Drama. Okay, I lost the stem this one was on. Uh-oh. Um, how do I fix this? Okay, I think I just want to reset. I want to reset. I don't think... Yeah, there's too much pink. I'm resetting. I'm resetting. I'm resetting. Okay. I think I'm going to try and find my tallest... Fair pink stem. I also need to cut this one. Okay, why did I just put it on the table that was dumb? I should have sorted. Okay, oh my god. This is why I'm not a florist. Who knew this would be so difficult? Okay, back here again. Resetting. Wait, this is like pretty solid, right? Can I just do this? That's so cute, Mac. Okay, I'm going to try and find the longest stem. Okay, obviously not this one. I should sort these by height. Just like you do on Tinder. I mean, how would I know? <laughs> I just assume that's how it is. I don't know. Can you sort by height? Wait, that's literally just what I said. <laughs> Okay, so I only have two long ones, and then the rest are short. That's kind of bad.
Okay, I like this. <laughs> I don't know. I've never used Tinder. That's just a guess. Okay, I think something else I need to try and do is tape as I go. I think that'll help me. Okay, I also don't like all these leaves. <laughs> Thought you were talking about sorting the flowers behind? Yeah, I was. And then I made a little joke, and you guys took it seriously. Okay, I need to tape. I should have opened the tape before, huh? Oh! Comically, it unraveled on the floor. This is not scripted, I swear. Tomorrow's stream is scripted. Spoilers. Oh my god. Okay. Don't worry, I got this all handled. Five five is tall to me. I'm five two, so anything above that is massive. Okay, this is so difficult to hold the roses in hand and ravel the tape. Okay, okay, I got it back. I have hair in my mouth. Wait, now I need scissors. Wait, I got my pliers. That won't work. Okay, now I can tape. Now the way that, well, boom! I dropped the scissors in my lap, but I caught it before I stabbed my toe. Okay, the way that you work with floral tape is that it's not necessarily adhesive. It's kind of like the medical tape they wrap around your arm when you donate blood. You just have to wrap it tightly. now i'm not gonna go back from here i'm not gonna reset are you fine with anybody who's any height yeah as long as they're like taller than me but i think that's like pretty easy to achieve i almost dropped the scissors again what if they're shorter? I don't know. But then I could be the Dom, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ideal meal. Okay, this one is going to be the center, the tallest. I'm surprised I didn't get more huns with that one.
Okay, I need to tape. I need to tape. This is taking longer than I thought. I legit thought this would take 30 minutes. <laughs> well, it's Valentine, so it's less fun worthy. Okay, okay. So does that make mean I can start making, like, jokes? Like, actual jokes now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so this is, like, half. Not too bad. How come we aren't using the green? I want to try and use the the greens primarily toward the edge. Because the plan is simple. Roses towards the center. And then adding the rana fluffaluffaguses. And then greens. Not necessarily like completely around in layers. But I will like intermittent them. Because you can still see some of the green poking through. From the actual leaves that are came with the stems. I'm a professional. It's in my genes to be a florist. Okay, but how cute would, would it be to, like, own a flower shop? It'd be so cute. Would you guys go to my floral shop to have one? Ooh, that's so much more balanced. One, even though I low-key hate flowers, really? Are you allergic? I think flowers, in general, are a uh, kind gesture. I've never gotten flowers. Oh, no! I dropped the tape, I cut. They're just pretty to look at for a few days. Oh, okay. I have that same opinion as well. Like, I think buying fresh flowers is kind of silly. But it's not necessarily the practicality of it. It's the, the thought that, oh, this person was thinking about me. Or this person wanted to make this extra effort to buy said thing for me. Or when they bought the flowers, they thought of you to give it to. It's more about the thought. Or that's what they tell us, that way we keep buying and consuming. Okay, this is falling apart. <laughs> Should I just super glue them? Okay, this is coming together. Oh my god, it's falling apart. Just like my life. You know what I should do? Instead, because like right now I'm tape. The tape is falling off. Right now I'm taping the all, the whole bundle. I might, oh my god, I might have to reset. Oh. I hate this. This is so difficult. This would be so much easier if I had a vase. Should I get a vase? You know what? I'm gonna go get a glass cup. Screw the tape. I'm right back. So stupid.
Why are you guys fighting? Yeah, I got a cup. Now I'm gonna treat this like a vase. Okay, let's try again. Re attempt number three. I could probably keep this like this. <laughs> yeah, I can keep this as so. So I think what I'll do is I'll make bushels like this size and put them in the base. So this right here is one half. Oh, I'm... This is a glass cup. I'm so scared. This one's way too tall. I made it short. Okay, wait. I'm cooking. Hi, Electra. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Let me cook. Let me cut. These aren't cutting. Let me cut. There's so many leaves. I should probably take off the leaves. <laughs> Mr. I want to have a date in an abandoned building? How do you know it was him? How do you know? You you don't know for sure. What if it was all a joke? Um, who's single? Type one. <laughs> um... Okay, wait, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Oh, see, like, it's too short here. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is so difficult. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I think what I need to do is just make a larger centerpiece and then stick individual stems along the outside. So I need to keep adding, or I need to add a few stems to the centerpiece. You should have floral foam. I was gonna do that, but it's not in the budget. I had already spent so much on the just flowers. But floral foam, I think, would be nice. They sat at the dollar store? Oh. I'm just clueless, okay?
And I like making excuses. Okay, the problem is these two together, it's too tall. But I can't really cut it because then it'd be like too, really too short of stuff. I'm going to do it. Would you ever tell your partner that you stream? Yeah, they would kind of need to know. But it would be up to me and said partner if I ever was public with them. Because just because you're a creator, like you can handle whatever slack you get online, but your partner should not immediately be prone to that, you know? That's why I think it's smart to keep your relationship private if you ever are an online figure. Yeah, I would tell them that I stream. They would they would kind of need to know. Because they would be like, you want a ball? And I'd be like, no, I got to click go live today. I, I think they would have to know. Wait, I have to run an ad. Guys, we're an hour into stream. They're an hour into stream. So click subscribe if you want to avoid the ad. Do it, do it, do it. No, I would never bring them on the stream. Mm -mm. No. Ignore my tummy. Ignore my tummy. Don't look at her. Guys, click subscribe. Do it. Get boomed. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. <laughs> This is so difficult. Why is this so hard? Okay. I tag everyone in chat to do the make a bouquet challenge. Okay, because this is the center. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Okay, dude. Flowers make me sneeze. Me too. That's why I bought fake ones. Okay, wait. I'm cooking. Let me cook. No, I tore the tape. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, I think I have my base done, just about. I just have to tape on two more stems, and then I can start actually working. Yes, this is my full-time job. Wait, I messed it up. Why is this so, genuinely so difficult? Is tomorrow's stream going to be the best ever? Yes. What is it going to be? Um, 50 subs and I narc right now. I'm not going to leak. It's like the best idea I've ever had. Oh, I keep tearing the tape. 
or rather best idea for like a v-day stream i think the best stream i've ever done was um heart scrabble candy heart scrabble <laughs> okay now i have my base my center florals done so now i can just put them in okay i'll move here or should I put- I'll put the vase on this side. That makes- Okay, now- That's the better side. Okay. Haters will say that the- Scrabble stream was not it, but I think it was the best I've ever done. Pokemon card opening? No way. I'll say it. I think if you do Pokemon card openings exclusively as your content, you're dumb. It's not creative, creative at all. It's just lame. Okay, now we building, we building. Okay, the only problem doing it in the base is that if you take a flower out, you're kind of cooked. You can't really take a flower out. Yep. I used to watch Pokemon unboxing all the time as a kid. See keyword as a child. Okay, I'm building. I'm building. I'm cooking. You know, it's, it's not even now. Hi, Mag. Don't at me in chat. That's cringe. <laughs> the guy on TikTok who cuts his Pokemon cards with scissors. It's so, it's such a good bit. I'm convinced all the people who are like, I'm going to cut this cat. The, I'm going to cut this pack right now. They have to be lying. Guys, don't at me in chat. I'm not going to give you, like, any more or less attention. Okay, this is so uneven. Oh, my God. I can't. How about if you add me in chat, I'm just going to, like, straight up ignore you. I'll do it. Okay, I gotta- Oh, I found the missing stem. Ta-da! Okay, now I have all my large- <laughs> This is so uneven. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'll take this one out. Okay, I should seriously cut off the leaves. The leaves are cooking me. Okay, that's a tad better. Okay, wait. I'm cooking. I should make one of the Valentine's Day boxes out of shoe boxes next year. I'll do that next year. Also, I realized I said I was going to do a dating sim this year, but I didn't. Um, hashtag cancel peace and I totally forgot and I didn't buy one. Because <laughs> the one that I bought, I didn't realize was rated mature. <laughs> 
so when I like opened the game, I saw like Booba, and I was like, uh oh, <laughs> you could still play it, yeah, but like, I just I don't want to like, I don't want to do that type of content on stream. You know what I mean? Because I love farming, but not that type of farming. You know? Okay, this looks so much better now. This one is. Because with the bouquet, it has to look good at all angles. This one is too tall. Okay, wait. I'm, I'm kind of cooking. This side? Perfect. Okay, working with the base is, like, so helpful. I can just twirl. Let me cook. Yeah, I need more white on this side. Am I going to play the dating sim on my own time? Maybe I already have. <laughs> what game was it? I don't remember. I legit don't remember. Okay, cute. This one, perfect picture. It's a bit unbalanced, but... Okay, now I'm going to start working in my smaller roses. That looks stupid. How do floors do this? I don't get it. This side, perfect. This side, too much pink. Okay, I fixed it. Oh, I probably have to trim these, huh? Have I ever played Kitty Powers Matchmaker? That is on my wish list, actually. I remember watching Jack Septic I played years ago, and I do want to play that for stream at some point. Okay, I'm just placing these in here just to see how they look. I will move them later, do not worry. Maybe I should have worked these in the center, huh? Let me cook! Oh yeah, this looks a lot better in the center. I'll put these in the center. Shove it in there. Come on. 
Yeah, this one's too tall. My strat is just shove it in and hope it works. And you know what? It's working. I, I need this to like move this way. I'm also so scared of just shattering this glass because this cup, I broke, because I bought six of these different glass cups, right? When we first moved in and I broke one on the first day because I scrubbed it too hard when washing the dishes. How hard are you washing the dishes? Very hard, apparently. <laughs> you were power washing them a bit? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I do scrub very hard, though. Wink. I mean, I don't use the dishwasher. Dishwashers are dumb. I know they use less water, but they don't work half the time. I'm not liking this. This is taking too long. <laughs> Okay, I like these tiny pink ranopolificuses. Yeah, those are cute. Okay, this, these are all sticking too much on this side. I don't know what happened here. Oops. Okay, I need to add more here. Oh no. Okay, now this side is too much. This side, I think, is perfect. If we just face this direction, it's good. Who let me cook? I just hate how, like, asymmetrical it is. <laughs> Do you have any plurals in chat? Type one. I need to uncook this. Wait, I kind of fixed it, I think. Yeah, 
Either side is still it. I'm going to do something controversial. I'm going to snip it here. Thorn on my side. I'm just going to place it on top like that. I don't care. Same with this one. Screw this one. I hate you. Sound bite that. <laughs> yeah, the problem I'm running into now is that a lot of the ones in the center are, like, sinking in. It still goes hard? I'm trying. I'm trying. FOMO CD say, I want to quit. <laughs> you know, I got an art degree. This is going to look so put together once I put the greens in. The greens is going to fix everything. Why is it so heavy on this side? I'm just going to... Okay, that kind of fixed it. Yeah, that this is going to be the front. Definitely. I want to get invited to a wedding just so I can catch the bouquet at the end. That's literally all I want. Who wants to invite me to their wedding? Tap one. I'll go as long as you pay for my ticket. And I can make a TikTok about it. <laughs> Wait, Electra, you changed your chat color. You're pink. I got a custom color now? Pog. Did you get Twitch Turbo or Twitch Prime? I keep my Twitch Turbo just so I can keep my seafoam green. It stands out a lot in chat. Wait, I'm just realizing, look how empty the tables now. Dang. Oh, you got Twitch Turbo? Twitch Turbo is honestly great. Um, Still stay subscribed to me though, smile. Don't ever unsubscribe. That is not a threat, Twitch tab.
Okay, I'm looking because this is my run of Filippo like this. I'm trying to find a center spot right here. Okay, I think this is as good as I'm going to get. Okay, there's too many small roses here. Never mind. Reset. One more tiny rose. Okay, the roses are all pretty spread out. I need one more tiny rose. Okay, I think... Oh, this is so unbalanced. I think it's not tipping. You know, as long as it don't tip, I think it's fine. Okay. Whites and pinks are done. Now I can finally add my greens. Everybody loves the green. So I have lavender, which has... A very slight pinky purple white undertone and then eucalyptus because I like the shape so I think I'll start with eucalyptus because this is gonna add some more dimension make it look whimsical and I do have more eucalyptus I think I got a 25 set I'll grab some more. It's cute, thank you. What if I said no you? <laughs> I'm kidding. You know what? I'll say it. Everybody's cute. In their own way. Okay, the eucalyptus kind of stick out, but I think adding the lavender will fill it out. Right now I'm trying to put eucalyptus in pairs of two. That way it's not like a single stalk sticking out. Maybe I should have started with the green. That way they'd be sticking up a bit more, maybe? Okay, I'm gonna try and add some lavender to fill it out. Oh, the lavender texture looks so nice. I love the gradient it adds. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay, I'm gonna grab more eucalyptus and then I think I'm just gonna put lavender across the whole thing. Um, I 
That'd be a nice table piece. Yeah, I'm probably going to keep this on the table. Minus one drinking glass. You know what? Instead of doing eucalyptus across the whole thing, I don't like how it blocks the front. So I'm going to try and find the prettier front side. And then I'll do eucalyptus only in the back. I think this is the better front. It's pretty. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll touch up and refine whatever I like the pinks and whites in the front and then do eucalyptus solely in the back and then lavender across the whole thing do you buy furniture for a place even if you know you're gonna move no no the only furniture i bought was for my bedroom so like my bed my closet we didn't and then this place had a couch left over from the previous tenants so we didn't have to buy a couch but i'm not gonna buy any big furniture until like i know i'm gonna stay somewhere for a long time Cause like just moving it is a pain. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty good front. Am I sleeping on the floor? No. I sleep on a bed. Like, what? Like, what? Huh? This is crazy. What? I have furniture. What are you guys saying? I have furniture. What? what? You guys think I sleep on a little inflatable mattress? Huh? Okay, these two dark pinks are too close. Okay, that's a bit better. Cobalt sleeps on the floor. Okay, honey. You need to have a bed frame. Because if you put your mattress straight on the floor, you're going to get mold because all your sweat. Wait. Literally perfect. I think I got it. I'm cooking. I think this is the perfect front. I have one of those fold-up bed frames. Oh, a futon? I had a futon, but the frame was too big for my bedroom, so I just slept on the futon mattress, and it was not good for my bag. Okay, so now that I have the front made, I'm going to put eucalyptus all along this back part. That way it kind of frames it. Cute! Getting there. A few more eucalyptus. I'm not mad at this anymore. I 
I love how this fans out. You don't need cellophane. Okay, I'm gonna grab a few more eucalyptus and then lavender time. I don't buy big furniture because I know I'm gonna move. I mean, that's totally valid. Like, I'll be honest, moving the dresser was a pain. I didn't have to bring it upstairs, though. My roommate's dad did it. Wait. I only have one more eucalyptus left. I lied. Okay, now I gotta place this perfectly. A oh, perfect cute. <laughs> I will not be lifting heavy stuff. That's for my future man to do. Amen. If I move again, I want to hire movers. I think that'd be so cool. Yeah, I took this one out because it was too, like, small flower heavy in the front. Yeah, because see how these are, like, kind of drooping? There we go. Would you U-Haul? I can't drive. When we moved, we took a U-Haul. My roommate's dad drove a U-Haul for us. And he was really kind. Oh, this looks so good! We don't talk about the bag. I like how the front has more pinks in it. Lavender time. Okay, how has it taken me almost two hours to do this? <laughs> you know what I think is funny about streaming content? Is that, yeah, the streamer can stream hours and hours and hours, right? But then, you, the viewers, are the real sucker. <laughs> I'll say it. But, like, in a good way. Floris has got a tough job. You know what? I'm not, like trained so this is all new to me thanks it's out of stream bye bye i'm joking i'm joking i love the texture of the lavender ads I think it's done. Right now I'm just trying to fan out some of the lavender.
Look at this wonky one here. Because I want the lavender to stick out straight, like wings, kind of. Okay, I think I'm done. That took you like an hour? It's an hour 40 up time, so an hour and a half, because I yapped for 10 minutes. I think I'm done. Wait, this is cute. Close-ups? Wow. I love... The frosted look of the greens. She's not perfectly symmetrical. But it's so cute. Do you think your mother will like it? Type 1. Can I buy it? Um, Five gifted right now. Will they fall out if you turn it over? Okay, wait. Let me screenshot first. Um, somebody screenshot for me. Smile. I don't want to- I don't want to dump it out. I know they will, but it would be a good bit. I don't want to- Okay, how about- Okay, somebody screenshot. Please, somebody screenshot- Or clip it, that way I can screenshot it later. Cute! I think it could hold. No, I don't want to. Okay, what will you do if I dump it out? I, I need something to gain here. What will you do for me? If I dump... I, I genuinely think this is so cute. I want to put this on the table. What will you do if, you, if I tip it over? Clip it? Okay, that's a given. It's super cute. Thank you. Cute. What's the SC? Snapchat? Huh? Okay, this is actually so cute. If I had a little bow? Okay, last chance. What are you gonna do for me if I tip this? I'll screenshot it. <laughs> Block you? Me? What? Huh? There's, like, dust all over- you can see it. All this is dust. Okay. I'm done. I made a bouquet. She's so cute. We don't talk about the bag. But, oh my god. I'm so proud of this. Like, halfway through, I didn't want to quit, but I was like, this is not gonna look good. But this is cute. Hire me for your weddings, everybody. Um, Twitch.tv slash peace in. Type in chat and I'll do it for you. For price, of course. Okay. I like this a lot. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're on YouTube. Ah, this is so cute. Imagine you would give this to your bae. Would you tell them you love them if you got this? How much an hour? Um, a million subs. Cute! Okay. Guys, I'm gonna wipe my table and wrap it up. Such a silly idea. Minus $50, but so cute. We can get married if you get me that bouquet. Flush. Holy moly. I'm gonna wipe this off. Don't look at my tummy. Don't look. He's the flower girl now? I mean, guys, from this point on, flower making streams indefinitely. I'll get invited to the wedding? Wait. Hi, Rocket. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I was going to save something, but I forgot. Guys, click the link pinned at the top of chat. New YouTube video. I'm going to wipe this off. Click the link. Open it in a new tab.
Also, I will be streaming tomorrow on Valentine's Day. I'm not going to leak what it is, but it will be another date with chat. I'm so sad I don't have a valentine. <laughs> um, don't worry. I'll be your valentine. Smile. <laughs> JK, I'm doing good. Wait. The Pique is actually so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, honestly, it was such a good idea to get the, the cup. I would not have been able to, like, hold this in my hand. Okay, guys. Let's wrap up stream here for today. Thank you for watching. Let's do calligraphy. If you want me to write your name, all I must do is use your channel points. Or if you subscribe. Any redeemers? I can't keep looking at this. Dang, if somebody walked up to me with this in hand, I would propose on the spot. Thank you guys for redeeming. I also don't have the second camera, but you guys can see here, right? Your favorite color? Um, your mom. Orangey? Okay. Okay, tomorrow we're doing a date stream, right? If anybody can guess what it is, I'll give you a million dollars. Any guessers? You guys will literally never guess. Yeah, I need pens. A date? Wow. Clueless, you're right. <laughs> it's it's obviously gonna be a date. Is it peace love bot? I would I wanna bring back peace and bot, but you know that stream didn't do well. Baking a heart shaped pizza? Wait, I'll do that next year. I'll write that down for next year. That would be fun. Because for Valentine's, we do, like, the annual date and then the annual quiz. I'm trying to think of, like, two unique ideas to do every year. So, hard pizza, that would be fun. It's not like, oh, no. Oh, no. That's not, like, date material. You know what I mean? Is it a game? No. The only game I'll be playing is your heart. I think it's cooking. No, it's not a cooking because cooking is boring or like it's still fun, but it's like not good stream content. Okay, I'm trying to fix the camera guys. I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to fix it. I know it's gone. I lost. It's gone. Guys, this is my new PNG tuber. Cooking streams are good stream content? Then how come I had less viewers when I did a cooking stream? Hmm. Whoa, that's my webcam with the tape on it. <laughs> what if we do this? <laughs> Guys, this is my new um, face cam. If I'm going to do cooking content, I want it to be like edited content. Because like stream is fun. For that type of stuff, but it's, like, not as engaging. Okay, because, like, to me, something that makes good stream content is something that farms chat. I like when there's chat on screen. If people aren't chatting, then that's not good live content. Yeah, what colors do I need? My pens are over there. Is it trying drinks? <laughs> no, I... <laughs> I can't be having alcohol. My doctor didn't say I should not, but... I probably shouldn't start, you know what I mean? Alcohol doesn't help anxiety. Okay, I'll get my other pen set. I don't want to keep reaching. The pancake art stream was really fun. I might do that again.
I might do pancake because Chibli said he might do a pancake making contest stream. So I was like, you know what? I can just make pancake art and then win the Chibli contest. Okay, Kim Redeem Rainbow. Mods, wait, I can't reach my keyboard. Somebody changed the title. <laughs> oh, I almost knocked my desk over. The what? Um, look up Chibli on Twitch. He's like Prezo. Who? Yeah, you guys don't know any big streamers. You know Peason, and that's it. Do you guys know, like, XQC? I just found out who Jinxie is. Isn't that crazy? XQC actually sounds familiar. You put a Z. How do- how have you not heard of XQC? That's actually insane. Viewers giving me last minute Valentine's stream ideas? That's what today is. That's why she's making this guess. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have it planned out. I haven't pre-filmed the bits. I've been lying this whole time. No, but guys, guys, guys. The bit tomorrow is so good. I promise you, you have to watch it. It'll probably be like midday, like the normal 11 or like 12 or 1 p.m. I don't know what time yet. It'll be midday for sure. He's hyping it up so much, yeah. It's called... Hashtag lying. Okay, okay, be honest. How often do I hype up a stream? Do I'm like, am I gonna like, am I like, guys, you need to watch this Mario Kart stream. It's gonna be the best stream I've ever done. You need to watch it. I don't do that. I want to play Mario Kart again. It was fun. Maybe next week. I think for the sub-only streams, I'm going to alternate between my game of choice and then playing with viewers. Because I think if we do playing with viewers every week, it'll get boring. And also, I need to catch up on Cult of Lamb. Because I played my save offline the other night, and I didn't do any crusades. I just caught up on my base. Bring back the tournaments? You're only saying that because you want VIP again. I know what you're doing. I see through you. Have you played Metopia? No, but I want to. You know who played Metopia? Chibli. Chibli brought back the Metopia meta. Watch Chibli. And Peason. Flower color. Yeah, I do want to play Metopia at some point. Is it? It's on the Switch though, right? So I have, I'd have to either import my Mii's or make new ones, correct? I did get Nintendo Land for the Wii U, so we're doing that next Wii Week. I'll show the names at the very end, okay? Well, this is a really pretty fuchsia. You can export them? Okay. I'll look into that then. Yeah, when I saw that the shop had Nintendo Land, I was like, I need to buy it. Because y'all were talking about it last year. Lime green. <laughs> Kobobo's like, regretting suggesting tournaments. <laughs> Did you guys know... Easter is in March this year? Isn't that so stupid? 
I don't know if I'm going to do Easter streams. Because I'll say it. I think Easter is mid. Also, like, I am agnostic. So, like, the religious aspect doesn't, like, hit for me. <laughs> it doesn't hit the same. <laughs> How is it in March? I know. I think it's because the groundhog rigged it. Just like the elections. Anyway, I'm kidding. What was it so cute if he added me? Oh, that's so cute. I think it's cute when you guys become little friends. It's adorable. Because, you know, you can't be friends with me, so you can be friends with each other. Yeah, I think it's in late March. How is this blue already busted? I just bought this pen set. Anyway, what'd you guys think of today's stream? Was it a was it a good bit? I thought it was kind of funny. Okay, so these are the names I have so far on this page. Thank you, Kim, Mac, Electra, and Rockhead for redeeming. And the rainbow ones look so good on camera. Oh my god. Pride. This is the last page in the book. Oh, I need to buy more. I was gonna do that today. Dang it. Because, like, you know on Amazon, if you don't have Prime, in order to get free shipping, you have to buy, like, $35 worth of stuff. So I usually only only order things when I can buy $35 worth of stuff. But these books, these books are like $8 each. It's crazy how expensive they are. My favorite color. My favorite color is green, but I love turquoise ink. I got capital on <laughs> buy you a new one. Um, tier one sub. Do it. If you got money. Wait, my sub goal doesn't work. <laughs> I want to get 25 subs by the end of the year. I want 25 tier 1s. I already have 17, which is pretty good. Or if you have capital, you should invest in crypto and get more money, right? <laughs> I'm like... I want to... To eat with my sister and my roommate last night. We got burgers. And they were pretty good. And me and my sister were talking about crypto. Because, like, we were just talking about it. And she she can, like, deliver lines, like, so deadpan that you think they're real. She's like, peace in. I want to get Dogecoin. And I'm like, what? She's like, I want to get it. I'm like, no, you don't. She's like, yeah, I don't. Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'll do the same bit back to her. Because, like, she just... Okay, she can't, like, tell tone, right? Which is me being ableist. But <laughs> now she's doing it back to me. Like, she's getting so good at, like, committing to bits. I've taught her well. You know what else I'll teach you? The non-subs a lesson. Because, guys, we are two hours in the stream. I stalled for two hours for a silly little bouquet idea. Okay, granted, I think the bouquet idea is better than the candy arts. I'll say it. So... She'll teach us how to dine and dash too? No. My sister would never do that. I would never intentionally dine and dash. Guys, we're two hours in a stream. Click the subscribe button. See if you got a Prime sub available. Or um, skip your coffee. Pay five bucks. You get ad free viewing all month long. And you get cool emotes. You get to participate in the chat culture. Because, um, guys, type one if you love my emotes. So get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. It's already 5 p.m. Uh oh. I gotta eat my dinner. Peace leaving that big tip? Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? No, earlier, I told you guys, I got a bubble tea. And it was like this independent place, but like, it was a really cute shop and they had some really good flavors. I really want to go back. I tipped the girl $10. Because I felt nice. And also, when you, like, tip good amounts, they, like, will make your order quicker. 
Because I did catch my bus, so I was like, you know, if I if I give a hefty tip, maybe she'll, like, do double time. But she didn't. <laughs> this girl, she was by herself in the shop. It was, like, 1030. She was, like, like FaceTiming her friend <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> Which, honestly, based. Like, that's got to be so fun. Like, just being in VCs with your friends at work. I wish I did that. Like, that's got to be fun. But she was, like, yapping the whole time, and I, I could hear all their drama. I was like, people popcorn. Okay, final name, final name. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points. Do it now. Here we go, we had Kim and Kolbobo. Last call, any more redeemers? If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points. Squeaks is playing Mario Kart? Guys, I need to go watch that. Okay. I think I will wrap it up here for today. Thank you guys for watching Indie Chatter Circus Day 3 of Valentine's Day Streams 2024. Another kooky idea, but look how cute this is. This is honestly so cute. So cute. Did you get your name? Yes, I did. I would never forget. I would not scam like you guys constantly say. It looked bright pink, but it's more of like a fuchsia in real life. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out. I now have the world's best bouquet. It's honestly so cute. I really like it. And I think I still have some flowers left over. Yeah, this side is definitely more balanced. Okay, so, guys, if you want more peace and content... Okay, I'm going off screen. Don't look at my tummy. Don't look. If you want more content, more stuff to watch, go sub to my YouTube, youtube.com slash at peace and 17 for weekly stream highlights and peace and 17 clips for daily YouTube shorts and clips from stream. If you want something to watch right now, go watch my most recent YouTube video. It is try not to fall in love with me, impossible difficulty. Nope. Wrong command. Yeah. Click the link, open it in a new tab. Watch it. It's very good. Also, thank you to everybody who submitted to the Valentine's Day quiz. We had a lot of submissions. It was really fun yesterday. Um, I will be live tomorrow, probably at normal time or a bit late because I have to set things up, finalize some big business deals. So I'll be live between 11 and 1 p.m. tomorrow for our Valentine's Day date. So if you don't have a Valentine. Don't worry, I'll be your Valentine tomorrow. Okay. Seriously, thank you guys for watching. I like how I can do silly little things on stream and it do fine. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Wait, where's my new screen? Goodbye. I don't remember my response to it. I think you answered like exactly the same as you did last year, Mac. Also notice I changed the ending screen to like have roses that match my bouquet. These are a bit more orangey, though. Bye, Mac! Is there anything else I need to say before I go? Oh, today I had to get an EKG, I think it's called, where they put the little pads on you to, like, test your heart rate. And it's my first time getting one. And it was so funny. <laughs> like, because it's, like, little gel pads that have, like, little cables, and they put them all over your chest and your tummy. So... <laughs> The the nurse she's like it's gonna be cold and I was like okay and then she put the little pads on and I and I audibly giggled so loud because it was like freezing cold. <laughs> but yeah, I had to do that today. It was really funny.
I can't believe it's already 5 p.m. This is why I like I can't stream in the evening. Hope all is good. Yeah, I'm fine. It's just I had to do tests. Because um for a parasocial Andes, I have heart pain, but it's like random. So it's not like I exercise and my chest hurts. It's not like I have um heartburn. I just have chest pain, like randomly. So I like I've been waiting for freaking months to get this referral. Um to like see a specialist and doc was like yeah we gotta do more tests i was like okay because it's either <laughs> i have high cholesterol <laughs> which would make sense <laughs> or i have like another genetic disease which is just like psi 2 l so yeah it's it's big oof I i'm not gonna like post about it until like i know for sure and even then i don't want to like necessarily talk about it too much because, like, I don't want to be known as, like, someone who's disabled. Like, I've talked about this before. Like, I don't want it to be my identity. You know what I mean? So, it's, like, I think it's different if you want to be, like, a spokesperson and spread awareness. But it's, like, I don't have the clout to do that yet. Like, if I had a bigger platform, I'd probably, like, be an advocate more. But, I don't know. And, like, okay, I don't want to say this joke. Because, <laughs> like, anytime you talk about the the J-A-B, jokingly, you get, like, flagged on YouTube. So, like, I was talking to my friend about my chest pain, right? And they were like, did you get the, the J-A-B? And I was like, obviously. And they were like, maybe it's a J-A-B injury. And I was like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so like me and my sister will joke about it even though like we know it's like probably not what it is but <laughs> i hate those people yeah <laughs> but the, the problem is like me and my sister and my friends will joke about right-wing talking points but then we don't believe it we just think it's funny because we just think they're stupid to spew the nonsense but, like, I had chest pain, like, only recently. So it's not like... I, I got my my J-A-B back in 21. So it's been years. Almost three years, dang. So, yeah, so it's, n it's not that. <laughs> it's not that. Anyway, that was today. It was, like, really, like... I hate going to the doctor because, like, only old people are there. And I'm just, like... I'm not supposed to be here. And, like, even my doctor was like, yeah, it's kind of concerning that you're having pain when you're, like, 24. I'm like, yeah, that's why, like, I pushed to get this referral. Smile. But, I don't know. Old people smell funny. Thankfully, this time, nobody smelled like piss. Anytime I go to the doctor, there's always somebody who has a diaper, which... I get that they need that, but it's still, like, I don't want to smell a sneaky little diaper. Anyway, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Like, I have... There's always somebody home with me, so, like, if anything happens, I can go to the doctor. I'm able to be on my own still. I'm independent, mostly. I, Dude, if I have high cholesterol, that means I can't eat good food. That's, like, what I'm sad about. I hope I'm fine. I hope I'm fine. It's really funny, because, like, whenever you go to the doctor as somebody who's, like, overweight or obese, they're like, oh, it's your weight, smiley face. But, like, I've gotten so many tests done, and it's, like, literally not my weight. I don't know. It's so stupid. Guys, whenever you go to the doctors, check out therapy, whatever. Always advocate for yourself. Ask questions, seriously. Ask questions. Just don't, like, tell your doc that you look at WebMD. Because they'll be like, haha, don't do that. Anyway. Valentine's Day date tomorrow. Make sure you watch it. If you don't, I'll be very sad. Okay, enough yapping. I'm gonna go admire my bouquet.